Okay, now that we have our Indian Firewall virtual machine set up, you can see we have it right here. We need a second VM that will be on a private network between the Indian Firewall on the 192.168.0 network. Let's go to the diagram. So this is my computer right here, this gray, and this is my IP address, 192.168, let's say 2.100. And now I have an Indian Firewall with two NICs one on the outside pointing at my gateway at my let's say local network and the other NIC is going to be pointed inside to this private local area network between the Indian firewall and a second client virtual machine that we're going to set up and we're going to set this up on the 192.168.0 network so basically we need a second VM so we've got our Indian firewall VM and we need a second VM so what you want to do is open up another instance of your VMware player. See, I have it here, and we need to create a second VM. Now, I have a Windows 7 ISO file here that we can use to install Windows 7 on a second VM. So we'll click Create a New Virtual Machine. We'll choose the last radio button. We're going to install the operating system later. We'll hit Next, and we'll say Windows, Windows 7, and We'll hit next and we'll say next again and then the recommended size for Windows is um, 60 gigabytes. Now I don't have that much size here available so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that way down and we'll take it down to let's say 40 gigabytes. Okay and we'll hit next and we'll customize the hardware a little bit we'll say okay processors we'll change it to two okay and we'll say memory one gigabyte that's fine new CD DVD we're going to use an ISO image file which we need to browse for on our desktop there it is Windows 7 I open okay and our network adapter we're going to not use NAT we're going to use a LAN segment between this NIC and our Indian firewall on our Indian network that we created basically alright so that looks good so we'll click close and finish and there it is Windows 7 so all we need to do now is play this virtual machine and we'll see how this goes alright all right, we'll remind later to download the extra tools and we'll click OK to this other pop-up window. You can see that Windows is starting up right away. Okay, here's our Windows 7 installation script. So we'll say next and install now. All right, we'll accept the terms and select next and we'll install a new copy of Windows and we'll say next and you can see it's running right through the installation process okay it looks like the Windows installation was successful and now Windows 7 is restarting and then we can test out our virtual network. Okay, looks like we're at the setup window, so we'll type a username and we'll put in a password. and hint and product key if we have it we can put it now we can do it later so we'll skip and we'll use the recommended settings we'll set our time zone really quickly alright and hit next and we'll say we're at a work network okay that was a long process but we have it finished so there we are there is our virtual machine of Windows 7 inside of 
our computer that's already running Windows 7. So you can see there it is. And I'm going to put over here, this is our Endian firewall and just spacebar. You can see it right there. All right. And I'll release the cursor. And so we have, just put this right over here. So we have two virtual machines here. And if we bring up our diagram, we have our Indian firewall with two NICs, and now we have our Windows 7 machine, and we're gonna to need to give it an IP address 192.168.0.100 so that it can communicate with the Indian firewall and finish the installation uh, of the Indian firewall device. So let's see here, or the configuration rather. So what we'll do is we'll select our network setting here, Network and Sharing Center, and we'll change our adapter settings. And we'll go to our local area connection here. We'll go to Properties. And TCP IP version 4, Properties. And we're going to statically assign an IP address on the network. So we'll do that. 192.168.0.100 and let's actually set it to let's say 50. 0 0.50 and then we'll make our gateway our Indian firewall which is at 0 0.15 and we'll even set our DNS settings to be our Indian firewall as well. All right and we'll click OK and close and close and so if our NIC is correct, and we can check our NIC here, you can see that our NIC, Network Adapter, Settings, you can see that our NIC, Network Adapter, is highlighted, is on the LAN segment Indian network. So we should be able to communicate with our firewall device. So let's give it a shot. So we'll close this window. We'll open up our web interface, our web browser. And we will go to, all right, next, next, express settings finished. All right, that's fine. And close that. And we'll put in the address, https colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.0. 15 colon 10443. Now this is the IP address of our Indian firewall device, https colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.15 colon 10443. We should be able to communicate and talk to the Indian firewall device if we put this address into our web browser. So we do that and let's see if it works. Okay, so I was unable to communicate with the device at HTTPS 192.168.0.15.10443. So, and I was unable to ping the device. So, this is troubling, right? We, we don't like this. We're, we're not happy, right? Network adapter, right? We could, um, we could disconnect it. 
and then we could network adapter connect again right and let's see here double check our settings properties you can see we have it set up there correctly right okay so we have it configured and can refresh our window and so what we'll do is to try to troubleshoot this what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the removable devices network adapter and go to the first one and go to settings and I'll change the first from a bridged adapter we'll change that to a LAN segment and we'll swap networks so to speak so I'll change that to the Endian network all right and then I'll go to the second network adapter and I'll change that one to bridged right and configure the adapters that's fine and so I'll swap adapters okay and so now now that we have those swapped we'll connect with either one and you can see they're both connected now all right and now we'll hit refresh and see what happens all right, and there we are. So all it took was swapping the two network adapters and changing the first one here, let's say in the settings, to the LAN segment and the second one to the bridged. So I had them backwards. And so basically I had to swap the two settings. All right, not a big deal. All right, so now all we have to do is click continue to this website and there is the Indian firewall device fantastic